Hello everyone. Today I will introduce our work Pre2GMN learning representation with Gaussian mixture model for reasoning over knowledge graphs. And this is a joint work of Xu Yuan Xu. And this is the outline of our presentation. I will introduce our paper in four parts. The research background and motivation, the proposed methods, the result and analysis, and finally the conclusion. Knowledge graph can provide a flexible but structured representation for entities and the intricate connections among them. A common knowledge graph is composed of the entity state, the relation state, and the set of factor triplets. Each triplet is denoted as HRT, where H and T is the subject and object, and R refers to the predicate of the triplet. A knowledge graph has a range of applications, including search engine, semantic webs, uh, recommendation systems, and so on. Here, this paper studies on the task late answering logical queries on knowledge graphs. Logical query means late. A natural language query can be transformed into the composition of first order logic predicates using operators including existential quantifier, conjunction, disjunction, and negation. An answering logical queries on knowledge graphs is to identify answer entities in a knowledge graph that are likely to be entailed by known facts or inferred through generalization based on observed knowledge facts. For example, for the question, what are the movies no, starring? Or are movies starring non-American actors who have been nominated for Emmy Award? And this question can be transformed into logical queries with first-order predicates as shown in the figure. Since real-world real knowledge graphs are usually incomplete and noisy, recently a promising approach to answering logical queries on, on knowledge graphs is to map queries and entities into the same embedding space and recall answers based on vector similarity search. Research along these lines just lead using multimodal distribution to represent answer entities is more suitable than unimodal distribution, as a single query may contain multiple disjoint answer subsets due to the compositional nature of multi-hope queries and the varying latent semantics of the relations, while the broad single model assumption would comprise the expressiveness of logical queries and entities with the including of many false positives in a single large region for query. For instance, given a logical query who has been nominated for Emmy Award, the relation award nominated has several latent semantics, including actor award nominated, artist award nominated, actress award, nomi no, award nomi nominated, etc. Consequently, the intermediate entity state for individuals nominated for the Emmy Award vary in terms of gender, nationality, and other factors, and leading to answer entities forming multiple disjoint subsets as shown in the figure. Besides, existing methods either neglect the cardinality or regard the spatial query area as the cardinality. In fact, as observed from the figure, the left relatively smaller area contains more authors than the right larger one, which is contradicted by the radius of the spatial query area. And despite the potential advantages of multimodal distribution modeling, Existing methods based on multimodal distribution modeling assumption roughly represent each subset without capturing its accurate cardinality uh, or even degenerate to unimodal distribution learning during the reasoning process due to the lack of an effective similarity measure, thus limiting and violating the expressiveness of the query embedding. To better model queries with diversified answers we propose query to GMN, a novel query embedding approach for complex logical query answering. In query to GMN, we present the GMN embedding to represent each query based on a univariate Gaussian mixture model, and each subset of a query is encoded by its cardinality, semantic center, and dispersion degree, elegantly corresponding to the normalized probability, mean value, and standard deviation of a univariate Gaussian mixture model. And we also formulate effective models for the fitting of four logical operators. Besides, 
we designed a new similarity measure called mixed versus long distance, allowing for computing relationships between entities and multiple answer subsets and fitting bidirectional learning for queries and answer entities. Formally, German embedding for a query Q is represented as the mixture of univariate Gaussian distributions and the embedding of each component is represented by the degree computation product of three semantic ingredients. And each entity of launch graphs is represented by a univariate Gaussian distribution embedding with learnable mean value and standard deviation. Here, standard deviation serves as the scaling of the distribution, enabling entity embeddings to approach multiple query embeddings with, with different semantics simultaneously. And each relation of the knowledge graph is also represented as a Gaussian distribution. Based on the proposed German embedding backbone, next, we introduce how to model the first order logic operators in a unified framework. For the relation projection operator, given the head entity state and the relation as input, we first employ a distributed get to control the different adjustment directions and magnitudes of different subsets of the head entity state based on the input relation. After that, we use self-attention network to fine-tune the subsets of the generated final tail entity state based on current relative position, cardinality, and dispersion degree. And for the fitting of the intersection operator, the German embedding for target entity state needs to cover the unintersected answer areas of the input sets. Concretely, we design a call attention model to directly derive the unintersected areas of N input entity sets by computing the overall similarity between M input German embeddings to obtain the inter-query label result using cross attention network on the, uh, on the one hand and on the other hand, employee the self attention network to compute the inter subset label intersections based on the global attention on the other hand. Last, we use a getting mechanism to fuse the two label information as the final result. The aim of the negation operator is to identify complementary state of the given entity state. According to the global cross correlation among the components of the input. Thus, we utilize a self attention block layer while excluding the positional encoding to model the negation operator so that encourage the embedding of each sub, each sub distribution to shift towards the areas that are not covered by the given entity state. And for the union operator, we use destructive normal form technique to transform the union operator to last step of query computation graph. And after getting the new computation graph, we will directly aggregate the final multiple solution states as the output. Besides, we design a new similarity measure called mixed versus thin distance, allowing for computing relationships between entities and multiple answer subsets in a, in a multimodal distribution context and fitting bidirectional learning for queries and answer entities. Concretely, given the Gaussian embedding of the entity and the German embedding of the query, we repeat the Gaussian embedding of the entity k times identically to obtain an equal Gaussian mixture distribution. An employee the versus the distance with additional sym sym symmetric terms on the constraint of the cardinality measure to measure the similarity between the generated identical Gaussian mixture distribution of the entity and the Gaussian mixture distribu distribution of the query, and to fit bidirectional adjustment for queries and answers entities to establish the many-to-many -many mapping relationships. And the mixed persistent distance forms the foundation of the multimodal distribution modeling during the reasoning process. We compute a reciprocal of the distance function as the similarity score and take cross entropy loads to minimize the distance between the GMM embedding of the query and the Gaussian embedding of its answer entities. And we evaluate 
the proposed period of GMM on two knowledge graph benchmark datasets and compared with eight existing approaches, including multimodal best solutions, unimodal best solutions, and other embedding best solutions. And following the setting of baselines, we use 14 types of queries based on the first order logic queries. We can observe from the table that our query to GMM significantly outperforms all baselines in most cases. And this underlines the effectiveness of our proposed embedding backbone. <clears throat> German embedding coupled with our neural operators in accurately representing complex logical queries. Meanwhile, we conduct extensive experiments on NAIL datasets to justify the effects of five components of query to GMM. For the cardinality and dispersion degree of GMM embedding, we conduct two variants by removing the cardinality parameter and dispersion degree parameter respectively. As shown in the table, <clears throat> cardinality and dispersion degree play individual and important roles in accurate representation for query embedding in the multimodal distribution context. In fact, the cardinality of GM embedding can provide prompts for the proportion of each subset during the reasoning process in an unsupervised way, and the dispersion degree of general embedding contributes to the coordinate, can help to coordinate the mapping between queries and entities and provides confidence intervals for the final answer retrieval. And the proposed neural projection operator, we replace our gated attention network with three layer multi layer perceptions, and we can see from a table lead independent component learning based on gate mechanism in conjunction with joint learning with the self-attention mechanism provides a more effective implementation. And the proposed co-attention network for the intersection operator, we create a variant by replacing our neural model with self-attention and random sampling used in query to particles. And the co corresponding results in the table show it effectively modeling at the inter-query and inter levels can more accurately adapt to the complex mapping relationships inherent in the intersection operation. And for the proposed mixed versus in distance, we introduce a variant that neglects the symmetric terms on the constraint of the cardinality part of gene embedding. Observe from the table eight, direct constraint on the cardinality, semantic center, and dispersion degree of general embedding can help to uh, uh, and help to the uh, modeling for logical reasoning in the multimodal distribution setting. In conclusion, in this paper, we investigate the multimodal distribution of answers for each query in logical reasoning over knowledge graphs. And unlike existing works, our proposed query to GNN is able to elegantly and accurately represent each subset with cardinality, semantic center, and dispersion degree with the proposed GMM embedding and help to form a embedding backbone that is more conductive to the complex many-to-many -many mapping between queries and entities. Besides, we design a new mix mixed versus in distance to measure the relationships between an entity and multiple answer subsets of a query. This provides a solid foundation for reasoning within multimodal distribution learning. Last, extensive experiments demonstrate the effectiveness of a proposed query to GNN and each of its key components. Thank you for your listening. Uh, if you have any question, please feel free to ask us. Thank you.